Here we are at 404 Alito Street. Nice single level plantation home. Um, I'll show you the front yard here. You got some bananas to the right. Big coconut tree in the front yard. And then you can see off to the left there, you got the West Maui Mountains. Off to the right, you got the end of a cul-de-sac and your beach access is just over here to the left. Really short walk. So I'll take you into the house here. Two car garage. Um, they've got the sliding barn door style. Doors that open up, um, great space in there. Okay, and here's into the house. Living, dining, and kitchen. Nice open plan. Really good amount of space. Here's into the kitchen. As I mentioned, we got granite tile counters, which a little, little unique for here, but um, it's all been redone and it's in good shape. It's just a little taste specific. Um, nice big bar. That's your range in the middle there and then out towards the living room and dining. All the uh, single home windows are dual pane, look to have been replaced, you know, in the, probably the last few years or so. And as you head down the hall here, we've got our first bedroom on the right. This bedroom does not have a closet, but you definitely got space for one there, or put like a wardrobe, something like that. So this is the smallest of the three. We've got laundry in the hallway here. Open that up. Great size laundry space. Um, it's nice not to have that in the garage, which is pretty common here. Into your full bath. This is shared by the two guest rooms. Nice, you know, updated tile, glass doors, good size. Here is the larger of the two guest rooms. This has a nice window looking out to the backyard. Good size closet as well. You got nice privacy, nice tall fence on the side. Can't see any of the neighbors. And then as we head through across the hall to the master, Good size master. Again, window out to the yard. And your big closet and your bath. Got about a 36 inch single vanity here and then a nice uh, travertine shower. Yeah, that's, that's definitely a nice upgrade. So then from the master, we'll head back out to the living. And if you notice here, there's the doorway right by the pantry. And if you head through that, this is our bonus Ohana. Good size space, probably just under 500 square feet. It's got a full wet bar set up. Um, you could put a range in there. Um, you're technically not supposed to have one if it's not a legal Ohana, but I can go over that with you on how that all works. Um, closet, nice windows all around. Sliding glass door up to the lanai, and that would probably be the primary access for if you had a, a renter or someone in this space. And then nice full bath. Nice vanity. And similar tile shower to the master. Not travertine in here, it's ceramic tile, but still nicely done. And this has a split system AC separate from the main house. That's on central air. Um, it does have a photovoltaic system here, which is on net metering. So you, that's gonna take care of all your power usage, which is grandfathered. Actually, they don't offer that anymore. So that's a nice bonus. And here's your garage. Got solar hot water as well. 
sink is plumbed, and then a couple racks, nice amount of storage. Oh, got the surfboards here, that's an essential. And let me take you through to the backyard. So this is a really nice sized backyard um, and they've done a great job of maintaining it. Got some citrus here, um, looks like lemon and lime. Got an avocado tree, looks like a grapefruit over there. And a couple big plumerias. I mean, you got plenty of space here to kind of do what you want. Water feature in the corner. And yeah, here's your yard. Nice mountain view. And that's that. You can see that um, bonus space. It looks like that was probably a covered lanai originally, and then they enclosed it. Pretty common to see in the back of the house. I will be in touch with any questions. Take care.